what's up everyone welcome back for more exo series content in today's video we're going to discuss Cory vs chance increase for brooke improvements to her design where you can use her and if she's worth summoning for but before that if you want to see more exo series content please be sure to hit the subscribe button in the right side of your screen here is the Cory vs chance increase for the strong ship brook recruit and i'm pretty much excited that she's going to get a rework because i've had her fc for quite a long time and i think i had her fc fusion already so i think i got two copies of her and uh, it's already fused with uh, fc brook i'm excited to see how they they rework her skills because from the start when I tried to use her, her kit was pretty much underwhelming in terms of damage and in terms of utility. Uh, overall, the current Brook FC is is not really um, it's not being recommended in the current uh, PVE and PVP meta. So let's take a look at what changes they gave her. So this, this update will be dropping after the September 7 maintenance. So again for, for her skills, here we go with her passive. So we have a new one which is Angry Lab. If the caster has a remove, movable buff, recovery, positive effect applied. So this is similar to Flap Flap. So attacks together with an ally when the ally attacks. So once every third. So I think this is, this is interesting because when you, when uh, Brook has a buff, has a positive buff, um, she can attack whenever an ally attacks. So I'm assuming this is tied to her basic attack. So again, if uh, if she attacks, considering Brook is a an, an a attack character she gains mana every time she uses her basic attack so this generates mana for her well uh, as long as she is buffed so this is kind of an interesting uh, kit that they have they have put into her i think she can she can be used probably in a couple of um couple of the uh, uh, scenarios already in the, in the game so let's go first to her s1 so her S1 before was a 1 mana, deals 240% damage to an enemy. It was changed to, now it's 2 mana, but her damage has decreased. But the special is turn resets if the target dies. This is very good in terms of finishing off uh, enemies and moving on to the next target without wasting your turn. So I think this is good even if it uh, was bumped up to 2 mana. And her S2... If you can see, the initial skill was her her Baba Rush. Her initial skill was three mana cost, so deals 40, 420 percent damage to an enemy. So it's uh, three burst. The new one uh, already requires four mana, but her damage is already at 75, 750 percent damage to one enemy. A very big buff compared to 420. So I think this is similar already to some of the top tier um, burst characters for single single damage that we have. I think I think Redmi has this one. So it's at par with Redmi's S2 already. So if you can take a look at the overall improvements that they've had in her kit, I think this is pretty much very, 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 you know, improved compared to the last one. I think you can use her now in the Holy Dragon Grounds. You can use her Barrier of Will and also use her Dragon Hunter Blessing. So this will all um, um, be more effective with her Angry Lab. Um, you can build your Holy Dragon Ground team with her uh, using a buffer for your attack or probably any positive buff that you could give her so holy dragon ground is one of the areas in where i recommend that you use her once she's uh once once 
her, her new kit drops. The next one is she's going to be used more during the challenges for Fire Day. Um, you Anyway, you have to build your team. If you haven't built, built up your team for Fire Day, she is a good um, addition to your Fire Team. And also, my last recommendation is you can also use her now with her, her with her new kit in the PVB tag. So you could use her um, in your second or third team, which um, just make sure that you build her around a team that gets buffs, so that you could uh, make sure that angry lab triggers. So again, as a Black Fate core. She is going to have a probability of 0.7% to summon. So also you'll have 19 core mileages for her Black Fate core. But for those who acquired her, her FC before, the changes will be applied after the update. So uh, like me, I'm already excited to test out her uh, after the update. And also for her FC weapon, I also have her FC weapon actually. So I don't have to, to get her FC weapon. Her FC weapon is also 0.7% and 19 core mileages as well. So, and that concludes this video guys. Please tell me if you like this video and uh, if this has been useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You always stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.